I've been trying this route um, truly madly steeply. It gets 7B. It's quite short, but it's very uh, compact and varied in its routing. Um, so I've been working the the moves, um, kind of clip sticking the bolt above as I go, just to get used to the moves and get used to the which holes are where. Um, and there's there's a lot of quite hard moves, like the first move itself is one of those improbable moves that just doesn't feel like it's going to work, where you have to like hold a very thin undercut with the right hand and the left hand is quite high undercut and then sort of launch up for a little crimp and then bump again. And Yeah, when you get established on the twofer as well, well, after that first move it's all kind of quite good holds and then it's still quite steep. You get a really high right foot to then reach the big break, which is also quite full of bird poo and a bit a bit grotty in there. And then when you get up onto just above the lip and there's quite a nice flake, there's quite a nice sort of side pull there. And then you're pinching the twofer and that's quite it's quite secure in some places. And once you're above the lip, then it gets quite even trickier. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> and I'm still not quite 100% sure which beta to use. It's a cool problem. Um, yeah, it's very, very short. Just kind of, I don't know, still transitioning from, well, having not done a lot of climbing last year, to, I suppose, predominantly doing bouldering. Uh, so I guess like a short, compact, bouldery route suits me a little bit better, I guess, rather than long and sustained and pumpy. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Bit of a project. Day one of the new project done. So I worked out all all the moves, all the start moves, uh, and even kind of figured out a better sequence for the top moves, like just slightly more secure than than the first the first set of uh, working that. Um, but yeah, my skin's quite sore now. There's some quite sharp, thin crimps on that. Uh, and it's surprisingly overhanging. Like, it doesn't look it from here, like that bit there. It doesn't actually look overhanging, but it's it's a gentle, steady angle to it. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. I wasn't planning to send it today. Just work the moves, and then maybe next time start trying to stitch everything together a little bit. Uh, maybe red point it. Don't know. We'll see. Back out at Dungecroft Quarry, uh, trying the project. It's turning into a project. Um, yeah, red point attempt number two today, this morning. Just done it. Uh, got probably highest point, probably. Being able to reach up with the right hand, but my hands just get so. Yeah, I got you. Take. Like there's no power and there's no strength left in it, because um, it is kind of like just a very long boulder problem, essentially packed into quite a small, small sport route. Um, so yeah, having a little bit of a rest and then we'll try again, I guess. <laughs> see if see if red point number two was the warm up and maybe red point three will be the send. Who knows?
Uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. So pumped out, I'm gonna drop the top. Hardest ever sport route? Yeah, maybe. It's quite a short one. <laughs> it's just like a long boulder problem, I guess. Few, yeah, oh, a cool. very long boulder problem, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's still good moves. Yeah, UKC only had 14 logs. Not saying that you only ever have to do it and log it in UKC, but yeah, I don't think it gets a lot of traffic, <laughs> is what I mean. But it took a while to work out the sequence. Like that top section was quite sequency <clears throat> and seemed very improbable to start with. Uh, but I, I think it might be one of those few climbs where it might be beneficial to be shorter. Because I reckon when, you, when you've got that flaky bit, that side pull, and then the, the high pinch on the tufa, I can swing right up and get my feet really high and really bunched. And then sort of like really squash to get the crimp. Whereas I don't know what other people do, maybe they just reach up and get the crimp, I guess. And then pull themselves around, but I don't know. But that was cool. Strong start to 2021. May it continue. <laughs> We'll see. I hope 2021 is better than 2020. <laughs> I waffle. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe. Remember to like and subscribe. If you fancy a girl on Truly Madly Steeply, get on it. Because it's not polished. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. See you in the next one. <laughs> See you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.